Uh, hello, my name is Mitchell Alton. I am a student at the Flatiron School in the soft software engineering course. Um, this is our Mod 4 project, um, and my partners on this project were Placido Wang and Vien Pham. Uh, we made a project called League Tracker. If you've ever played League of Legends, you know you create accounts, um, you can choose different champions to play with, and you level up your summoner account. So with this, you can plug in your summoner account, and you can look up your recently uh, played games for ranked match history, and uh, look at all the information on different champions in the game. Um, so we can set up, uh, we have a login page, you can sign up. Um, and we have validations in place to make sure you fill everything out, uh, your username is long enough, your password is long enough. Um, but I already have an account set up, so let's go ahead and log in. Alright, and you can go, let's check out the champions page. Um, from here, this is literally all the champions inside of the League of Legends game. You can uh, scroll over to see base stats, and you can see their roles, tank, mage, uh, everyone knows mummy, right? Um, and we also have um, sorting based on, you can sort it alphabetically. Um, you can choose to sort by all assassins. And since a lot of them have two, two uh, roles, excuse me, two roles, you can select by two different roles. Uh, so this is showing all assassin fighters. If you select another one, it'll change the first clicked one. So you now you have fighter marksman. And the only one fighter marksman in the game is Jace. Um, and then also you can select these specifically, you can uncheck them, and then you can sort them by the difficulty of a champion, ones that are easy, uh, quick, and then by medium difficulty or hard. And then you can also, on top of that, put like, let's see what hard tanks to play, okay? Well, is there any like tank supports to play that are hard? No, okay. Tank fighter, maybe? Are these all fighters? Oh, go figure. All right. And so um, we had uh, other sorting uh, um, features we wanted to add, but this, uh, these positions aren't provided by the right API, so something we were going to have to uh, put in ourselves the logic, and so we didn't get to this feature, so we can add that later. Uh, you can also, if we take these off, you, you can search by a champion, so anything with ANN, so Annie, Jana, Oriana, etc. Okay, um, you can click on a champion, um, and it will go to, there's uh, detail page showing their lore, their uh, roles, their stats. Um, more styling needs to be done. Um, we only have a week for this project, so our main focus was functionality, and then we were doing styling at the end. Um, you can go over their uh, champion's abilities. We have the, we're using the YouTube API to uh, bring in a champion spotlight on this each champion. This is Aatrox, the dark. Um, and then we also have each skin, so we can show, and you can look at each skin. We're bringing in also the video that'll show what those skins look like in game. All right, so there you go. You can get out of that. Um, you can exit right here, and you look at all the skins from there. You can do this for every champion. All right, so now you can go to the summoner, look up a uh, summoner profile. We'll look up mine. Um, don't judge; I'm horrible at the game. <laughs> All right, um, so you can see it brings in your name. It even like uh, will live update your um, uh, your profile picture, uh, your summoner level. Uh, silver four, 65 wins, 59 losses, and we have uh, it calculating your win ratio. Um, you also have your most played champions automatically showing um, with the champion points, your mastery of that champion, all the way down to the least played. I think my least played is Kiana. I've played her like one time, but it'll, it's in order from most played to least amount. And then, um, so uh, the way I forgot to mention the way we have this set up, uh, we're using a Ruby on Rails backend, and we're using React JS frontend and Postgres for our database. Um, and then um, we're using the Riot Developer Tool API. So it's a very complicated API. Um, so we're using uh, the imp we're grabbing this input, uh, we're sending it to our backend, and we're plugging it into the uh, first fetch. Uh, of the API to get a summoner information based on the summoner name and it'll pull up this information and automatically come with their champions. Um, and then we take that, uh, we do two separate fetch or three or four separate fetches actually because it was sending, we did it all at once, it's just so such a large object, It was, it's already slow enough as it is. Um, so we're taking, uh, this will come with your um, 
unique uh, encrypted account ID, which we then take and plug into a match history uh, fetch uh, get request. And we'll send that back. And from there, we'll have all your match histories, which we then have to take a match ID and <coughs> iterate over all the matches and take those match IDs to get specific information on each match recently played. And so when we toggle this, this is toggling between showing the champions and the match history. Whenever we click it, it's not only toggling, it's also sending another fetch on the back end. So again, it takes a second because um, we have it set up to in the back end for our fetch with the custom route and then from our front end we are fetching to that custom route to get the object sent back. Um, so we can see all the recently played games. Uh, win, loss, win, loss, win, loss, win, loss. Pretty consistent. <laughs> um, and then again you can go back to your champions. We can look up a uh, another uh, player. Let's look up someone that's actually good at the game. All right, so this guy also is in Diamond 1. I believe he's actually a pro player. I don't remember what team he's played on or if he's on the team currently. 51% uh, win ratio. Uh, looks like he's the Yasuo main, 2,295,000 mastery points. Right. And again, you can look up his um, recently played games. Takes a second for the fetch to come back. All right, so see all his recently played games. All righty, and that is it. We can... Um, Go back to champions, we can log out, it'll lock you out. You can still view everything uh, when you're logged out, so you don't have to create an account right now. Um, a lot more work to do, but this is our project, uh, Leak Tracker. Thank you.